Hello everybody, I'm Slash and VC. Welcome back to the Cataclysm. This is our character, Mark Crump. He is the food person, the true food person. I have an idea for this episode I'm very excited about. One, we got the welding goggles so that we can use the acetylene torch to break into the... Is it here? No, there's a shooting range here. There's a safe here at the shooting range. We're going to break into that. See how much ammo we come out with. I want to investigate this crashed pod. You know, we've had trouble getting to the military base, which is our goal last episode. It's right here. We may still make it there. But uh, that crashed pod may have some interesting things. I actually saw on Reddit... I'm going to start driving. I actually saw on Reddit that someone was complaining about the amount of loot you can get out of a crashed pod. They said, man, there's way too much loot in those crashed pods. <laughs> well, I want way too much loot. So I've got the uh, AR-15 in the food person's hands. He's wearing a shooter's earmuffs. We'll have to turn those on. In order to save our hearing, we've got our SIG compact and uh, a little bit of ammo for that. Not much. Like 10 rounds, but then we've got uh, 120 rounds of ammo for the AR-15. There's our acetylene torch, and down here we've got our new welding mask. So we should be good to break into that safe. So let's get into it. Uh, I want to be zoomed in on him. That saves my processor speed for some reason. Now, I don't want to drive right through the heart of Hubbardston. We're going to want to take a detour. So, how did we detour before? I guess we'd drive to, like, uh, here, and then cut across the south end. And with any luck, this will go rather smoothly. Picking up absolutely nothing on the radio this whole time. But I'm hopeful that at some point we're going to see it pop off of something. I imagine that uh, Mark hears things in the static that we can't hear. He probably thinks he's listening to some groovy tunes. Okay, we've arrived. Now, I'm just going to drive straight across to the shooting range. Oh, I can't see rocks at that zoom level. Wow. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I was going to say, I couldn't see that tire at all. I think it's there somewhere. What are the V's? Oh, okay. A flock of blue jays is flying in that direction. Now, if you guys wanted to be really clever, instead of a V, which I guess suggests a wing shape for a bird, we could do a J, and then they would be blue jays, wouldn't they? Maybe I've been playing too much Crazy Cataclysm. That is a weird mod, by the way. I was checking that out off screen just for fun. Crazy Cataclysm, I think, is the one that adds the Daffodil Warriors. Man, those things are heck on my characters. I saw one and it says, mildly dangerous, but I think there was like uh, 90 of them or something. That was the end of a promising run. Okay, we're almost to the shooting range. Got a corpse laying out here. What's he got? Balaclava, halter top, slippers, and stockings. Okay. You were not dressed for the apocalypse, whoever you were. Mark has become inured to seeing dead bodies lying in the grass. We've arrived. Let's just pump the brakes. Heck yeah. Turn off the engine. Put this welding mask on. Oh, I've got to take the food person mask off. There we go. 
Wear the welding mask. Let's apply the acetylene torch. The acetylene torch ran out of charges. Hmm. Now, I think, it, which one did it run out of? Examine. It ran out of battery, I think. No, it ran out of oxyacetylene. Ah, damn it. Wait, can I open the... Uh, no. Well, let's see if I've got any oxyacetylene. I don't think I have any extra, but I might. Not in that container. Uh, nope. All right, then. Well, we'll have to crack this safe another day. Let's take off the welding mask, then. Or the food person mask. Okay. Well, you know what that means. It means it's kill cyborgs time. Did the uh, vehicle start? Uh-oh. You hear the engine clicking and grinding. Yeah, it started though. Don't know how much longer this uh, car is going to hold up for us. All right, let's drive down. Yeah, let's drive down to right about. Uh, oh, we've got a forest to shoot from here. But I was thinking maybe we'll just leave the car in motion and shoot out the driver's side window. I don't know how that'll work, but a little drives uh, drive by shooting sounds like fun to me. If we got no accuracy at all, then maybe we'll just have to find somewhere to shoot from. I have no idea how hard these guys are going to be to shoot, but we're using 5.5 uh, five NATO rounds. Ought to be pretty good. All right, my laptop quit there for a second, but we're back into it. I see a bee. I don't think he'll bother me. Okay, now, what else do we have here? And so we've got some standard zombies coming out of the pump station there. Okay. Uh, oh, I want to try this drive-by strategy. Like, see if I can do it. All right, now, if I hit um, F to fire, uh, yes, I can shoot out the window, I guess. Is that how that's going to work? Let's see if how I can take aim here. Okay, no, he's definitely taking aim. Recoil is going to be low, and the car is in motion. Uh, the zombie's about to wind up in my blind spot, though. Let's try a shot. By God, uh, well, now he may have just disappeared is all that it was. Into our blind spot, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we killed the other one. Oh, yep, there we go. You hear a crash. Oh, I think I ran into something. Yeah, I'm about to hit these bushes and stuff. But anyway, at least I know it's possible to fire out the driver's side window. I think that's pretty cool. Drive-by shooting is a thing. Okay, we've got to get around this B. I would try shooting out the passenger side, but that doesn't make sense to me, so. Just gonna get a little distance here. We'll flip back around south. Okay. All standard zombies. We may leave them behind, though. We just uh, kind of accelerate up. I'm more interested in the zomborgs. But we'll probably get the zombies' attention, so I don't need to uh, forget that they're gonna be there. And I'll wait for a little red dot to appear on my mini-map. Because the crashed pod, let's see, it's not right next to the pump station, is it? It's right over there. And I think we're seeing one. Yes, we've seen our first Zomborg. How far away is he? 59 tiles. I can't shoot that far anyway. But I tell you what we can do, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and get this car kind of pointed in the uh, retreat direction like so. And then we'll just let go of the controls and leave the engine running. Let's 
pop out and see what there is to see. Can I shoot at them yet? No. Let's move up. Move up. Till we get in range. We see four of them so far. All right, now we're in range. I'm just going to use um, precise aim fire. That looked like a miss. Precise aim fire is another miss. There we go. We finally got a hit. That was a miss. There we got a hit. Or this distraction. Now we should probably take a look around and see if we've got... Okay, how many we got? We got uh, four Zomborgs. Where's the tough zombie coming from? He's with them. All right. Let's take this closer Zomborg here. Maybe I should manually aim. Precise doesn't seem to be doing very good for me. He's at uh, 25 tiles now. Let's, okay, my current aim is a lot better than precise now. Alright, that looked like a pretty good hit. And the Zomborg is bleeding. More Zomborgs come into view. He's close to 18 tiles. Another good hit. Monsters spotted. And there we go. Achievement complete. One of one cyborgs killed. I didn't know that was an achievement. Sweet. Let's go ahead and uh, see how far away everybody is. This Zomborg's close to 17 tiles. And these are at about 29. So if I can take him down, we can just keep right on going. Oh yeah, good hit. Good hit. Alright, how are we doing on ammo? Should tell me we got seven rounds left. Should we take the tough zombie down? That was a wild shot. Tough zombie spotted. Take him down. Heavy arterial bleeding. Ah, zombie closing in from 14. So now they're coming from every direction. Heavy bleeding. Heavy arterial bleeding. I can expect this tough zombie, he should go down on his own. Um, before he reaches me even, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and hope that that zombie dies of his bleeding. And that the tough zombie dies of his bleeding. And let's take a shot. At this Zomborg here. That's a hit. And another good solid hit there. Tough zombie's getting really close though. Alright. Hmm. Let's try one more shot at the Zomborg and then run for it. Alright, that's it for... Oh no, he's still up. That was like a... Oh, your AR-15 is empty! Well, this is an excellent time to run for it and reload. So we've got... Uh, how much damage is we doing on average? About 50 damage each. Alright, let's hit uh, run mode. See if we can get back to the car. We'll lose them and turn around and come back for more. Okay, I take control of the hippie van. Kick it up to about 16 miles an hour. Oh, I want to try this drive-by shooting concept. Oh, my AR-15 is empty, right. Um, here, let's swing north. And I'm going to reload it. We're only going 8 miles an hour, it should be fine. Reload the AR-15 with one of these 30-round magazines. Ah, yeah, okay, we got it reloaded. Excellent. What I forgot to do is restart my mission timer after my laptop crashed. Let's do that. Hopefully we'll keep the episode somewhere within a time frame. This looks like a pretty good place to hop out. 
And the game throws in an autosave. Alright. Let's let go of the controls. Step out this way. No targets in sight. Oh wait, I'm running. Let's go to a walk. Let's see if we can catch our breath. Okay, we're good. And this is a little further away than I meant to be, but... Here we go, we got a Zomborg off to himself over here. Perfect. Hey, and that's the one, too. Looks like the other zombie died of his bleeding. That's it for that Zomborg. Got a regular zombie coming from that direction. I want to see if I got an X-Acto knife with me, because we're going to be dissecting these Zomborgs. So in my tools, do I have a... I got a Swiss Army knife. Alright, I need to go grab my X-Acto knife, and we will see about dissecting those corpses. That's a wrap on that zombie. Let's go ahead and reload our AR-15. Okay. Give this guy a quick smash. And we got a candy bracelet. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing my radio. Um, let's close the doors. I'm going to open the uh, trunk. See if I can fire from the trunk. Yeah. I'll tell you, this rifle isn't doing quite as much damage as I thought it should, but I don't know, 27, 36, and 48. Not terrible. Got another zombie in view, but we'll ignore him for now. I need an X-Acto knife. Uh, is it in this one here? No, it's in this one here. There it is. X-Acto knife. Alright, let's go ahead and drive down there and do some dissecting. Okay, this is the area right here. So this Zomborg had nothing on him but a spring. Hmm. Well, I admit that's the first spring that I've seen. Let's uh, try a butcher menu on the Zomborg, and we'll do a dissect, which will take us an hour. And I expect to be interrupted. Wouldn't be the least bit surprised. Okay, let's see what it told us. You discover a faulty power storage CBM filthy, faulty ethanol burner CBM filthy. You discover a faulty bionic claws CBM. You discover a burnt out bionic. You carefully record the creature's vulnerabilities. Uh, what is a burnt out bionic? Once a valuable bionic implant, it has not held up well under repeated use. This object has been destroyed by excessive electric current. It's now useless. Uh, the power storage CBM you could install under certain circumstances. It can be disassembled to yield solder, power converters, amplifier circuits, and batteries, and a burnt-out bionic. 
This is a uh, compact bionics module that upgrades the user's power capacity by 100 units. Having at least one of these is a prerequisite to using powered bionics. The user will also need a power supply found in various CBMs. I assume that's a power supply right there that burned out. The ethanol burner, oh no, this may be it. A reactor that burns alcohol as fuel. It can store up to 500 milliliters and accepts ethanol, methanol, and denatured alcohol. It says, this item is a compact bionic module. You'll need to use specialized machinery or ask a surgeon to install it in your body. Bionic claws, vicious retractable claws that are implanted inside the user's fingers. These do considerable cutting damage but prevent the user from holding anything else while extended. So, looks like it's got some kind of encumbrance, and uh, what's the cutting damage on this thing? It just says bash 8, but I guess that's if you're probably wielding the bionic, not if it's installed. Listed uh, price is uh, 5,000. It's got a good barter value also. I'm going to take all of those. Some items were not picked up. What did I not get? The faulty claws, so my inventory's full. Do I have my backpack on? Sure do. Alright, well, let's uh, stash this stuff. Must be relatively heavy. We can stash the welding mask. We're not using it right now. The spring, the burnt out bionic, and these bionics here we can put away. I mean, we're not carrying much. Doesn't seem. All right, well, let's see what this guy had on him. All right, that Zomborg had nothing on him. This guy had some RAM on him, an actual stick of RAM. What is this, 1995? Wait, what am I seeing over here? Is that just rocks? Okay. All right, we'll uh, try to break into this pod in a minute. I want to go ahead and butcher these guys. Or, I mean, dissect them. And let's see what we find. Maybe we'll find one that works. I didn't see Mark as a bionic guy, though, per se. I could change. Um, I kind of saw Mark as the mutation type. All right, let's see what it says. Uh, you faulty legs alloy plating CBM, four burnt out bionics, and a faulty power storage CBM. I have uh, carefully recorded his vulnerabilities. All right, I'll have to come back for that CBM. Did I leave one here? Yeah, I left one there too, so we'll make a couple of trips. Drop off the RAM, the burnt out CBMs. Maybe there's a way to repair those, I don't know. It's all new to me. Okay, we're able to pick those up this time. Uh, before we start butchering that guy, we're both hungry and thirsty, so it's probably going to be a good idea to go ahead and uh, eat some toastums and drink some water. Okay. Dissecting Zomborg number three. I'm glad it was only three. You know, I thought as we drove past there, like, there might be, who knows how many, 20, 30 Zomborgs? There may be more inside the pod. Burnt out bionics and a faulty burnt out bionic. Mm-hmm. Just out of curiosity, we could uh, look over here, have a look at one of these. Oh no, yeah, I'll do it a different way later. Alright, should we drive to the pod or walk to the pod? Here's the question. And I'm just going to walk up there and have a look, I guess. I didn't leave the engine running, so... Mark's feeling a little fatigued, but... Okay, so this pod doesn't have any obvious way in. Let's look at what it says about itself. This is an industrially fabricated thick sheet carefully positioned and joined seamlessly with perimeter sealant. It's capable of resisting extreme elements and hostile forces. 
blast load rated, and extremely fire retardant. Breaching will require specialized tools or industrial vehicles. Bummer, man. Huh. I am uh, walking around it hitting the O key, hoping that there's a hidden door, but I don't think there is. Oh! Oh my god, there was a hidden door. Holy shit. Okay, well, we have uh, opened the alien pod. We don't see anything inside, apparently. Oh, wait. Hmm. What is this? It's just a closed metal door. Uh huh. So, in order to get through that, we're going to need what? The sawzall? I think. Can we pick? Nothing that can be examined nearby. So, I opened the secret door. However, we've got this closed metal door. Hmm. How are we going to get in there? Let's go look at our inventory. And game threw in another save. Thank you very much. Whoa. What do we got? Cordless drill. Soldering iron. Okay, we got nothing in that stack that's going to help. What do we got here? The acetylene torch. This has charges in it because after my laptop crashed, I just skipped the other thing. So that's what that's going on with. All we've got is a crowbar. I think I'm going to have to take a pause here while I look up metal door again. If I'm not mistaken, I mean, we can try the acetylene torch on it. That might work. Actually, let's grab it. I don't think there's going to be enough charges to do anything either way. Oh, uh, yes. Welding goggles. Take off the food person mask. Looks like we dropped off the welding goggles in our car. Apparently, the welding mask is uncomfortable against Mark's face. Poor guy. Alright, I had a pause there to look up the... Uh, they, they recommend a pickaxe. I'm going to try the acetylene torch. Yeah. And it ran out of charges. I think if I had welding gas, this would not be a problem. So, uh, maybe we could go back to the, uh, let's take off the welding mask. Take off the welding mask, wear the food person mask. I think we could probably get some acetylene from the uh, survivors over here. I would just uh, take a pause and drive over there. We're getting low on gasoline though. Yeah, we could go to the help center. They might have some acetylene there. Or is there anything in town? Just go in here shooting. Destroy everything. Ice cream shop, abandoned storefront, public art piece, office tower. Uh, no, this doesn't look very promising. Subway station. Alright, what do we got in the... We don't really know what we've got down here. We'd have to explore Peabody. Ah yes, a huge police department. Diner. Peabody's not too big. I think Mark could take it on. That may be a thing. Before we give up uh, entirely and start go looking for a uh, welding gas or a pickaxe, though, why don't we check in here? Is my weapon reloaded? Eh, uh, it's good enough. It's reloaded. That one's empty. This one's partially full. Okay. I don't know if I brought ammo. I think I just brought full... Uh... Yeah, there's some things in here. Like adjustable wrenches and whatnot, so there may be what we need in here. Let's have a look. Yeah, adjustable wrench. Ooh, wow, 400 solder. Nice. Oops, I didn't mean to smash that. What is this? 
A 200 liter drum of sulfuric acid, 200 liter drum of bleach. Rubber gloves, steel toed boots, handy. Flashlight and a circular saw, blade. Yeah, there's very high likelihood we can find what we need here. Chromium oxide and super glue. Filter mask. Large plastic sheet and an industrial compressor. There's a shovel there. I'm taking that with me because... What is an engineer's hammer? Ball peen. Useful for demolition work. 25 bash. Level 2 hammering quality can be clipped on a belt loop. All right. Wood saw. Yeah, Mark definitely needs a shovel. What do we have in here? These tools are locked up. Nuts and bolts, pipes, and rebar. Aluminum sulfate, electric motor, and rubber hoses. Spray can, pipe. Cordless drill, duct tape. Manhole. Bolt cutters won't help us, I don't think. Silicone caulk. Funnel, duct tape, first aid box. Hmm. What is that? It's a high gauge pipe. Okay. Look in some of these. Bolt cutters, nuts and bolts. Soldering iron and more duct tape. Filter mask, soldering iron, water faucet, metal tank, and plastic apron. Ah, crates. Hmm. There's rubber hoses in that one. Crate is locked. Okay, I need to grab my prying tool to get those open. Welcome to the roof. And guess what's on the roof here? Wait a minute. What do we have here? Telecom cabinet, okay. Water heater and a solar panel. That's a pretty neat location. It might be worthwhile to crack those crates open. Too bad there weren't any welding tanks in here, though. And we have another manhole cover here, too. Look at that. I'm a little curious. We could take a peek down there. Let's grab our prying tool and go have a look. I just noticed Mark has an entrenching tool, so he doesn't need that shovel. If I hit examine, nothing that can be examined nearby, then I may have to apply the crowbar. There we go. I lifted the manhole cover. Can I peek down? Yes, I can. And we've got sewer walkways under here. <laughs> yeah, I've been kind of wanting to check out what's under that stuff too, so that's another place I want to explore. Where was this? Uh, oh yeah, let's open these crates. Alright, I got a disposable battery. Oh, 800 solder. Wow. That's a lot of solder. Rubber cement. Two rubber hoses. And bolt cutters. More solder. Huh. We've already got bolt cutters, but I'll grab them. Why not? Can we apply the bolt cutters here to... Uh, There's no... It's locked. So this says you want to pick its lock. 
see if I can pry it open with our um, smashed crowbar. No, nope. can't pry it open with the crowbar, can't cut it with the bolt cutters, so this is... We, uh, I don't know if I've got the... I don't have the metal saw on me, apparently. We do have a metal saw, and we could saw our way into that. But I don't see a reason why to. Other than, you know, there's like a little bit of more solder in there. Alright, oh, okay, wait. This gate right here, we can cut with the bolt cutters, I do believe. Um, we just hit apply, click the bolt cutters in that direction, like so. There we go. And then we apply our crowbar. And that opens. I'm going to take a peek downstairs. Tell you what, let's turn on our flashlight and then take a peek. There, now we can see something. What do we got down here? Corpse of a huge toad. Got some locked gates. Uh, corpse of a bullfrog. We've got the corpse of a giant slug. Suwarana. Giant slug. Uh, there's a spray can, a steel drum of sulfuric acid down here. Also, lockers. I wonder if there would be more tools down here. It looks like it would be safe to go inspect. And I think there's a ladder here? Yeah, there's a ladder leading up. So we can actually just go down. Yeah, there we go. Two giant slugs to the east and south. Steel drum of sulfuric acid. There's a tool right there too. Is this... This is a concrete floor. Ah, here we go. Look here. Tool belt, dust mask, leather gloves. So more work clothing. Spray can, steel drum, hacksaw, adjustable wrench, drum full of bleach. Trying to get a peek around these corners without actually going in. I don't think I can even shoot a sewer on it, to be honest. It seems like they would be awfully small. Okay, this is a dead end. Got it. What about my map? What does it show? Okay. Huh. Um, let's smash the toad corpse and giant slug. I'm thinking about just shooting him so I can see what's on the other side of this right here. This is a long passageway. It's got another up. Hmm. Let's shoot him. Let's make sure our shooter's earmuffs. Oh, Mark is deaf because I haven't had these activated, so they'll go ahead and keep protecting his hearing, so. Take a precise aim shot at this guy. And it took a lot of damage. Excellent. And there we go, he's done. Let's see if we can shoot a Suorona. Can we shoot a Suorona? He... Yeah, I think so. I think we shot him. Oh, no. Wait. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's dead. Let's shoot this other slug. Or this distraction. There we go. Can we shoot a sewer rat? They would seem to be really small. Yeah. <laughs> How would you ever, like... Okay. Uh, I want to put all my ammo... See, that would have got 18 of 30 in that one, right? So what if we could unload this one here? I want to unload the ammo from that. Then I want to reload my AR-15 with a fresh magazine. And then I want to reload that partial magazine. There we go. Let's go down here and see about opening this door. Uh, I need to use... Oh. I'm going to need a hacksaw to get through that, I think. Let's go grab our... Oh, we've got a hacksaw right here. Okay. Let's go. Smash the slug. Okay, have a peek up here. Yeah, I thought this was probably the one that's in the parking lot. 
Okay, we've got more metal grates down here. Another Suorona. Good to know we can shoot those safely now. And we got another branch going this way. Looks like toward a sewer rat. What's in this area here? This is a concrete wall. Uh-oh. Sludge trail right here. Uh-huh. Puddle of blood and a thick sludge trail. And the corpse of a huge toad. There's some sludge down here. Let's go this direction. We can always shoot the sewer on it. Okay, killed him. And use the hacksaw to get through this door. Uh, great. We're going to be walking in sewage now. Aha! Oh, what is this? Food person mask. You rattle the bars, but the door is locked. Why is there a food person mask here? Razor blade. Marbles. A lighter. A food place loyalty card. Standpipe maintenance log. Hack pro and an empty drum. Oh, this is this really saddens me. Another standpipe maintenance log. Earmuffs. I think this is giving Mark a weird feeling. A food person. A homeless food person appears to have camped out in this area. Or was it Mark himself? Is he really a ghost? Did he die? I'm going to take the maintenance log. I know that's good to have. Did he really die? Ah, dang it. I can't get the glass jar. And now he's wandering onto the scene of his own death as a ghost. His aluminum cans are empty. Whoever it was, they ran out of supplies. They were probably sleeping on that bubble wrap and using these earplugs to uh, shut out... Ah, heroin. We found the culprit. Laying down here with their earplugs in on a sheet of bubble, bubble wrap, shooting heroin. They got these uh, Hack Pro software everywhere. Probably sitting down here on their laptop, trying to get online. Let's use the hacksaw to cut through this door here. All right, we're going back into the sewage. What's the move cost of this stuff? 300. It's very high. Okay, what's this creature here? So that's a toad. He's ignoring me at the moment. Okay, let me look at my map. Hey, what's this? Ah... We're headed toward the police department garage. We're actually right under where the hippie van is parked. So we have gone under the crashed pod. That was one thing I was a bit curious about. The crashed pod is back to our right. Hmm. What area is the crashed pod in? Okay, it's exactly one square. So it's right there. Yeah, we didn't see any evidence of being able to access the crashed pod from below here. But it was worth a try. That's a high gauge pump, and this is some kind of um, solid earth. I guess we could dig into if we have it. Just gonna walk around this thing. See what we've got. Since we're getting close to the police department, I'm wondering if we'll come out in the police department basement or not. That is... Oh, that's a dead mutant bullfrog. Okay. What has been killing everything down here, I wonder? Okay, we've got a Suorona. Shoot him from dry land. Matchbook, lighter, glass jar, and a stick. Hmm. And in this direction, we have... 
glass jar, paper wrapper, cardboard box, another standpipe maintenance log, and a steel drum and a couple sticks. Right, getting back in the sewage here. Hey, wait, what was that? That's weird. There's a little... Huh. Suarana. Ooh, he moves fast. Look at that. Bear that in mind. Got another corpse of a toad. Should we dissect him? Corpse of a mutant bullfrog. Hmm. I don't have time. I'm just going to pulp him. Got to be moving on. Aha. Is this another homeless man campsite or something? I got a bullfrog fleeing right there. So a steel chain and a thermos. Bubble wrap, a lighter, decorative plant seeds, gallon jug of cheap wine. And a mutant bullfrog that is ignoring me. It's a long way from oxyacetylene. How's our uh Flashlight holding up. Oh, the flashlight's about to die. We can probably take something. Here, let's get back on dry land for a second. I'm going to close that so the bullfrog can't get out. Unload the, say, e-ink tablet PC, and let's see if we can reload our flashlight. Yeah, with that battery. Very good. Oh, dear. There's a zombie frog. Know that there's any reason to kill him. Cannabis sticks, bumble frog, shopping bag, razor blade. Nah, no reason to go in there even. And I think he's stuck. At least I hope he is. Uh-oh. From the southeast, you hear clang. Okay. Southeast. There's something clanging down here. Okay, so we've got an acid streak and a puddle of hemolith around this slug. Uh-uh. Corpse of a sewer runner. Corpse of a sewer rat. Someone or something has been down here killing everything. We've gotten closer to town. Mark nervously advances. Oh yeah, no, I'm hearing it. Well, let's see. That clanging from the southeast is the zombie frog banging against the uh, grate, I guess. Maybe we're okay. I'm going to smash that. Step into the pool of acid? No. Okay, so there's an acid trail there. I don't want to step on. There's nothing here to smash. Two dead sewer rats. Corpse of a sewer runner. Okay, we've got actual blood splatter and what's at the end of this passage? Corpses of toads and what like. Uh-oh, sewer rat on the way. I think we're going to go melee on him. Yeah. Took him right down. Okay, we've got more dead things up ahead. Uh, sewer rat is behind that grate. I don't see whether any of these is a grate door. These are just metal bars. I'd have to cut the bars. Hmm. Well, this, this actually went a lot further underground than I thought it was going to. We go around. Here we go. We're on the side with the sewer rat. Is he going to come around the corner? Hello. Um, he's not overtly hostile. Interesting. I think we should uh, take him out anyway, but... You know what? If he's not going to attack us, then we'll leave him alone. What do we have down here? Mangled corpse of a toad. 
heard footsteps. Ah, we've got now a huge toad. It seems to have been mutated to absurd size by the cataclysm. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, let's hope he doesn't have a huge tongue attack or something. I'm going to uh, break into a run so I can get a little bit more range on him. And we'll use our gun. Should I cross the sewage? Uh, no. Let's switch to the AR-15. Oh, that's weird. According to this, I can't fire at him. Is it because he's around that corner somehow? Well, he's around two corners, basically. The huge... T Whoa! Oh, he leaped right to me. Holy crap. He hit my torso, but my armor protected me. Okay, he couldn't penetrate the chainmail, so let's switch to the quarterstaff again. Uh oh. That took a little long longer than it should have. He was able to miss me, hit my right arm, and then hit me two more times, but my armor protected me. I hit him for 27. I blocked all the damage with my quarterstaff again and took him down. All right. Let's unwield that and try to stop the bleeding then. Not sure which weapon to carry, so we'll switch to the quarterstaff for a minute. Okay, I got more corpses up ahead. That is the corpse of a sewer snake. I guess the uh, frogs have been raising hell in here. Uh-oh, whoa, whoa, what was that? Okay, it was a bullfrog. Oh, there's two bullfrogs. And what's at the end of this passage? A whole bunch of rats. Wait, a worm-tailed rodent? Yeah. There's Prussian blue over here. Uh -huh. I think we've reached the end of the line, although... After this point, it turns into kind of a mushy mess. I was hoping it would turn south at some point. And we're just north of Peabody. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, we knew about these up staircases, didn't we? Auto goes up, but I didn't realize there was one right after another. Yeah, I did too. Okay, um... So we could... Shoot or melee the rats. Eh, four of them. I don't want to shoot them. And hmm. yeah, we're committed now. Let's see where it goes. Your breath gives out. Okay. Guess I was still running. Is there anything down this passage? Oh, more of the same. More of the same. Hmm. Uh, platform coming up there. I feel, I feel like I can take on these rats. Um, but if they swarm me, I would kind of hate that. Actually, they may not be hostile anyway. They're not actually hostile. Huh. All right, let's uh, go ahead and cut this door open. Here's the axle. All right, you rats. Killed that one. Yeah, well, you know what? You guys kind of tested me there, so I had to do what I had to do. The sewer does turn south toward the police department and the city. We'll probably, yeah, we'll be going that direction then. Let's see where it goes. Uh huh. Another homeless encampment here. Standpipe maintenance log. Yeah, it almost makes me wonder if these guys 
Because there's, there's no corpse in here. Why is that? Oh! Man, those frogs are fast. We should probably go ahead and eat a couple of aspirin. Almost going to say the frogs are so fast. Now I could probably shoot him from here. But the frogs are so fast it's almost better to have a uh, hand weapon. Uh, I'm going to drop the backpack this time. Uh-oh, that's where my uh, flashlight was. I'm just going to get a little bit more agility to take on this toad with. There we go. Another giant toad spotted. He'll be on me. Yep, there he is. At least we're not bleeding this time. do take out the AR-15 let's use the SIG he is moving toward me watch him leap here he comes ouch something hurts look at that look at that Look, that was, he is so fast. Pull out the quarter staff. Here we got a sewer snake. I wonder if he can climb through the bars. Another food person mask. Man, the apocalypse was not kind to the food people. Looks like the sewer snake is blocked by the metal bars. Oh, he went around. So we're still vaccinated uh, and we're not poisoned. So I guess he doesn't wasn't poisonous necessarily. Zombo, uh, b uh, mutant bullfrog. just be a support column or something have we reached the end of the line okay we've got bars and stuff let's look at our map all right we have almost made it to the police department yeah. let's hop down here and see what we've got glass jars razor blades canvas sacks standpipe maintenance log now you know where to get the standpipe maintenance log folks I'm looking for an up now hopefully i haven't missed a ladder do i see don't see a ladder yet. Oh, we can go around those bars. Another mutant bullfrog has been spotted. Looks like there's two of them down there. Police station and garage is right here to our right. Hmm. Really hoping for a connecting ladder. 
If there is one, it's probably going to be in that room. But we've got two mutant bullfrogs at once. Oh, this one is uh, minor bleeding and poisoned. It looks unwell. That's oh, there's also a zombie frog. Uh, he's not dead. So the uh, mutant bullfrogs are probably fighting the zombie bullfrog. Okay. Okay, I have an idea. Let's get back here like this and get out our pistol. Let's take out the zombie bullfrog. I'm going to help these mutant bullfrogs out. And there we go. Can I reload that? Yes. Uh, I've got two rounds left. Okay. Ah, there's another. And there we go. Got him. He's dead. All right, let's switch to the AR-15. Oh, whoa. No, we won't either because they already jumped on me. Let's grab the uh, Iron Shod Quarterstaff. Why is my strength and everything lower now? Wet? Is it because I'm wet and miserable? Wait, I saw the minus signs. There it is. Weakness. Ah. Okay, I'm still suffering from radiation poisoning. Hey, let's eat another Prussian blue. Yeah, and um, take something a little stronger for the pain. Let's take a... Uh, is Tram Tramadol is a painkiller, right? Yeah. Okay. And there we go. Let's continue south, see what there is to see. What is that right there? Small tin can. I'm going to smash that. Alright, folks, give me a ladder up, please. Well, this may not be a way to get into the city the easy way. I was hoping we could avoid, like, you know, walking straight in, broad daylight, all that stuff. Interestingly enough, these sewer rats, oh, they're hostile because they got attacked by this uh, mutant bullfrog. I gotcha. This is a tunnel runner. Let's examine what that is. Prior to the cataclysm, someone might have referred to this dog-sized rat as a mass of claws and teeth. That could describe nearly everything you meet these days. In any case, this particular mass of claws and teeth is eyeing its surroundings hungrily. It is a mutant. It can swim and dig. Hmm. Yeah, so there's a war going on right there. All right, folks. Well, probably going to wrap the episode up right here. And uh, try to decide whether we want to uh, proceed through the sewers deeper into the city. Because I think at this point, yeah, we're well inside of Peabody. But we still haven't found a way up. Um, don't know if this would reveal manhole covers for me. You know, from being down here. I don't see any manhole covers. So we may not have a way up into Peabody. For some reason, I really thought there might be right in the vicinity of this police department, but no dice. Uh, we've got a diner and a fast food restaurant we're about to come up under. So what we could do is go back to the car and um, 
work on getting ourselves an oxyacetylene tank by either buying one or going to Peabody uh, using the surface method. We could go check out the roadworks too. Go set up base in one of these houses and uh, start uh, pushing into Peabody, clearing things out. That may be what we do. We can check out New Shoreham also. And also, I don't think we have been in this evac shelter. Yeah, we got a lot to do in this area. Our um, long-term goal, though, pretty easy to achieve. We're going to get into this crashed pod as soon as possible. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode as much as I have. I'll see you in the next one. And in the meantime, take care.